Today is Wednesday, October 25th, B-Day. I'm Cassandra Joseph. And I'm Josh Baker. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. Online registration is now open for winter sports. Please see the nurse to make sure she has your physical. Now over to Shelby with an interview. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. My name is Shelby Backer, and I'm here with the new theology teacher, Ms. Falcone. And she's going to teach us a little bit about our curriculum. So, you teach juniors? Yes, I teach juniors. The first half of the course is the sacraments. We do an in-depth exploration of how each sacrament gives us a different grace from God and how we can apply those graces in our lives. And the second half of the course actually is a morality course. And what I'm hoping to do there is help the kids find ways to apply our Catholic morality to choices that they're going to be making in their own lives. That's so nice. Now, you have a really big job here at Kennedy, for me at least, um, with helping out with community service hours. So could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, I'm the new Christian service coordinator here at Kennedy, and it's my job to help kids find service hours that not only fit with their schedule, but fit with their specific Christian calling, because everyone has a calling, God has a plan for all of us, it's specific, and it's global. So this global calling is what I'm trying to help them with. And um, I'm really passionate about them finding something that they like to do because that's the thing they're going to continue to do throughout their lives. And that's the gift that they're going to continue to share. So that's what I'm really excited about. That's great. Now, could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Um, well, uh, my background is in art. Uh, I enjoy going to the Metropolitan Museum of Art with my daughter, who is also into art. And uh, I also love Broadway and theater. And I can't wait to see the Adams family. So excited. So am I. Um, so I'm going to use Ms. Falcone for some help now. Back to the anchors. Thank you, Shelby. If you plan on auditioning for the Adams Family, please sign up in the green binder in the main office. If we don't see your name on the sign-up sheet, we will assume you will not be auditioning. Anyone who has not come to a pre-audition meeting or has not spoken to Ms. Vedaretti or Ms. Boston and received an audition packet in music will not be allowed to audition. And now over to This Day in History with Raven. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Raven Kirby with This Day in History. On this day in 1780, John Hancock becomes the first governor of Massachusetts. In 1870, postcards are used first in the United States. In 1960, the first electric wristwatch is sold in New York City. And in 1964, the Rolling Stones appear on the Ed Sullivan Show for the first time. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. And in breaking news, actor Robert Gulliam, best known for his title role in the TV series Benson and Reiki in The Lion King, died yesterday at his home in Los Angeles. He was 89 years old. His wife, Donna Guilam, said that he had battled prostate cancer in recent years. And now over to Righteous Reviews with Tomas. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic High School. My name is Tomas Sardina, and welcome to Righteous Reviews, where today we're not reviewing a movie, we're reviewing a game. And that game is Injustice 2, NetherRealm Studios' latest fray into the fighting game market. Injustice 2 is a great game with extremely fluid fighting mechanics and amazing cinematic storytelling. The story revolves around various DC superheroes and villains like Batman, Superman, and the Joker in a storyline that I would tell you more about, but I don't want to spoil it because it's so well done. It's got amazing storytelling and amazing cinematography, along with some of the best facial animation you will see, like, ever. It's, it looks real. It's amazing. Um, the game also has a cast of 28 and soon to be 32 characters, meaning there's a playstyle for everybody to find. And along with that, you've got really oddball heroes like Blue Beetle, who you probably haven't heard of, or Dr. Fate, just to name a few. <laughs> the mechanics in the fighting are fluid, the animation is solid, it's, it's just so well done. However, I do have one minor inconvenience, which is the game's loot box system. In the game, you can unlock gear, which gives you new equipment and customization options for your fighters. However, the, the loot boxes are a little wonky, and it's really difficult to get the gear you want, but this is alleviated with their arcade-style fighting tower system, known as Multiverses, where you fight through a ladder of enemies to unlock new gear. In conclusion, Injustice 2 is an amazing game with an amazing story and amazing mechanics, and you don't even need to play the first game to understand the story. So, you know what? It's a 9.5 out of 10. If that loot box system was just a little better, it would have been a 10. Back to the anchors. It was a pretty good game. And now for our featured stories. 
The Senate passed a $36.5 billion emergency aid measure yesterday to refill disaster accounts, provide a much-needed cash infusion to Puerto Rico, and bail out the federal flood insurance program. The 82-17 to 17 vote sends the measure to the White House, where President Donald Trump is sure to sign it. A National Weather Service team confirmed Tuesday that two tornadoes torched down in South Carolina during an outbreak of severe weather that flipped tractor trailers and small planes, washed out roads, and left thousands without electricity. Cherokee and Spartanburg counties were both hit by EF2 tornadoes with winds of between 111 miles per hour and 135 miles per hour. When Sean first expressed interest in helping out with cats, his aunt wasn't too sure. Since discovering his stray cat superpowers, Sean visits his aunt regularly, dressed as a superhero, and helps solve any problems that might arise among the 45 cats now under his aunt's care at four locations in the city. Sean loves the cats so much, he hates missing any chance to see them. If it's raining or cold he can't go, he, and he can't go, he gets really upset, Papiernik told the dodo, he cries, and it really hurts him hard. Wow, that's amazing. Sweet. And now over to Sports with Gibby. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Gibby with your sports. In the NFL, the Dolphins will play the Ravens tomorrow night at 825. In the NBA, the Cavs beat the Bulls 119-112. LeBron James started at point guard, which is a rare occasion, and dropped 34 points last night. In the NCAA, number 11, Oklahoma State will play number 22, West Virginia, on Saturday at 12 o'clock. Number 2, Penn State will play number 6, Ohio State, on Saturday at 3.30. In the NHL, the Canucks beat the Wild 1-0, and the Ducks beat the Flyers 6-2. In the Major League Baseball, the Dodgers beat the Astros 3-1. That was Game 1 in the World Series. And Varsity Football is a game Saturday away at Nazareth. So uh, that's a really far drive for you guys, but if you want to come out and see us, come out and see us. That's all for sports. Now back over to the Anchors. Well, I'm Cassandra Joseph. And I'm Josh Baker. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.